So many of you know that um, my family has been uh, going through a lot of grief. We've lost a lot of people um, recently. And so it's been really difficult for us to kind of just be hopeful around the holidays and also push through those feelings of uncertainty, what life is like without them. And for me specifically, um, I think a hard hitting death was the death of my brother. Um, and so I haven't talked a lot about it in detail, um, but just know that it's been a really hard time for me. Um, it's been some dark moments, but I found some tips and some strategies that work. So I hope that this will help you and I hope that you will lean into your grief in this holiday season because I pray that that it'll help you. Okay. All right. So here are my four tips um, to help you deal with grief during the holiday season. So tip number one is to try to create a new tradition. So an example of this, um, it, so it's really hard when you lose somebody that's important to the fabric of your family. And so a new tradition that I created for my brother um, in his passing is that I still, I make his plate for every Thanksgiving and every Christmas. And I still set it up. I get him some food and some drink and I sit it next to me or I find a place to sit it where he actually has a place setting, a cup, um, and everything that goes along with that because I want his presence to still be felt. I do not, my biggest thing has always been is I don't want anybody to forget him. Sorry if I get emotional. I just miss him. So, um, and that's normal. And I want you all to remember that that is normal. It is normal to miss them. It is normal to be upset. It's normal to be angry sometimes. But lean into that. Number two, um, talk about them even when it hurts. And that kind of connects to the very first thing I said. Talk about them even when it hurts. Um, because his keep, keeping his memory alive for me and the memory of my aunts and uncles and cousins who passed is important to our family because they did exist they were important to this world and we needed them and though they are no longer here in body they are still here in spirit and they're still here in our memories and so it's really important that you talk about them even when it hurts i talk about him my brother every single day but it, it, it hurts sometimes because knowing he won't be there for my weddings and my children and all these different things that I'm gonna have, all of these different steps in my life that he's going to miss, it's hard for me, but I cannot forget about him. I cannot stop talking about him. Number three, and this one has been one of the hardest ones for me, don't feel guilty for enjoying the holiday. Nine times out of 10, that loved one would not want you to avoid all the fun and amazing and loving and just amazing things that happen around the holidays. They would not want you to avoid parties. They would not want you to avoid spending time with your family. They want, they want you, they would probably want, if they loved you, they will want you to take that time to, to be happy, to enjoy it, and to remember them fondly. And then number four, um, remember that grief is a personal journey. Um, it was really hard for me at first because I felt like I had to grieve the same way that everybody else was grieving, right? And like, I, I was trying to find my space to grieve. And honestly, when it first happened, I didn't grieve properly anyway. It was so much happening. Um, I wanted to be helpful to my family. I wanted to make sure everybody else was okay, but you have a responsibility to make sure you're okay. So make sure that you're doing that. And part of that is knowing that healing is not linear. Healing is some, a lot of times a kind of circular pattern. You One day you feel great. One day you feel terrible. One day you may feel like, you know what, I've made leaps and bounds in my healing journey. I'm no longer upset about this. And then the next day you may not feel that way anymore. So I... I I encourage you to lean into your healing journeys. Lean into it because all in all, it will help you in the long run. I hope these four strategies or four tips will hurt you. Will hurt you? My goodness, y'all. I'm all over the place. Will help you to push through the holidays with joy and peace. And I pray God's greatest blessings on you guys because I know losing people can be very difficult. 
but I want you to know that you're gonna push through and it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna feel like it right now. <laughs> but eventually, you see the other side. Because if you had seen me when it first happened, you wouldn't believe I could still smile. So, happy holidays, y'all. Love you guys. And I pride myself on being real. So, I hope this helps you. All right, y'all. Who oh, cut the noise? Love y'all for real. And I will talk to y'all later. Stay tuned for um, day five of Vlogmas.